Hey guys, my name is Jason with Mount Baker Mining and Metals and today I wanted to do a video on roasting and the effects of roasting and, and why we do it. So I have a little sample here of some sulfides uh, and I'm going to pan them out and show you guys I can't actually physically pan any more gold out of this stuff. And then uh, we're going to roast it and uh, I just want to show you kind of how the gold gets released and, and see if we can get any more gold released by by roasting so this is just going to be really a, a roasting uh, how-to video and and why we do it what the effects of roasting are okay so here i've got some of those sulfides in the in a gold pan here and i'm going to swirl these around and show you that there's hardly any gold or no gold that i can pan out of this and then uh, we'll roast it and see what happens okay so it might be kind of hard to see in the video with the glare and stuff but i've panned the stuff down uh, you can see the huge amount of iron sulfide that's in there, the pyrite. There's a little bit of black sulfide there at the top, but um, you can see there's, there's really no gold in there. There's no bright yellow line um, indicating that there's any gold I can pan out. So uh, I'm going to wash this into our cast iron frying pan and roast it, and then uh, maybe we'll see the gold get released. Here's our little roasting setup, and I have my, my propane tank feeding this little uh, propane burner here. It just goes right into my little smelting furnace I've been using and I've shimmed up the frying pan and I'm just setting the frying pan right over the the uh, outlet of the furnace. That's all steam, don't worry, it's just a bunch of steam coming off from the water. And so the idea is, is that you take the, the metal sulfides, you expose them to the oxygen atmosphere at high temperature and the sulfides convert to oxides which are then soluble in the slag, but they also hopefully will release some of the gold particles that are locked up in the sulfide crystals. All right, we're getting up to temperature here. The sulfides have all kind of turned black. So you might be able to see it on the video. You can see those fumes coming off. That means we're getting hot enough now. And I only roast it for about 10 minutes, maybe 15 minutes, just until the blue smoke starts come, stops coming off. And, uh, and then you're ready. All right, so we just pulled our stuff off the, the heat. It's all turned black. It's still really quite hot. But you can see this, this actually is all gold right here. All those, all those little flecks are gold. And so I, the, the roasting actually released those gold flakes from some of those pieces of pyrite. So here are our sulfides back in the pan after we roasted them. They, uh, they turn bright red after roasting. And so I'll uh, pan these out and see what we get. I'm hoping to, to see quite a bit of gold in there judging by what we saw in the frying pan. Okay, so check it out. We've got quite a bit of gold in there just from roasting. I haven't crushed it, I haven't done anything. That's just from the roasting process. So that is that is pretty cool. There's even still some down here that I missed when I swirled it around in the pan. So that's pretty cool. I didn't think the results were going to be that, that dramatic. Um, but uh, it, it just goes to show you that it's a good way to test your sulfides, you know, pan out all the gold, get all the free gold out you can, and, uh, and then roast uh, a representative sample, and it may release some more gold. And so, like I said earlier, we get asked a question a lot about why do you need to roast sulfides or what does the roasting process do, and really it releases the gold from the sulfides so you can recover them. So thanks for watching our video. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned something. Um, let us know what you think. Otherwise, we'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.